girl, why I look a little soft? You did you take me? Y'all take you. This is the story of Charmaine McClam, aged 27, a black transgender woman who was killed by 22-year-old Makari Gassaway who she met on an online dating site. Makari and Charmaine had contacted each other on a website and planned to Netflix and chill later that night, but things went south for Charmaine when Makari got into the room and found out during the chilling part of the Netflix and chill that Charmaine was a man so he shot her and also shot her family members then fled the scene. He later told detectives he shot her because he was deceived into believing she was a female and also because she had performed some sexual activities on him by her during their chilling times, without him knowing that Shaw Main was a man. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. This story will be taking us to Gulfport, Mississippi. Gulfport is the second largest city in Mississippi and offers a variety of eateries, entertainment, recreation adventures, and industry pillars. Charmaine McClam was born on May 8, 1995 to Shante Durr and Roderick McClam. She graduated from Gulfport High School on June 3, 2014. At that time many people knew her as Brushon, but the world was going to know her as Charmaine Giselle Marie as time passed. She became a transgender woman. Whenever y'all put your ass house wake up, I want y'all just to know that I was a bad bitch. I was trying to show y'all me with no filter to show y'all that I really didn't realize. And I really don't play my brush. And it's just that. Hold on. Angles, angles, angles. Yeah, ain't no hug on family. <laughs> That's it, I'm done. Good night. After countless nights of studying, and weeks of driving back and forth to Alabama to SMD Healthcare, she managed to get her license as a certified nursing assistant. She was described as a queen. From childhood to adulthood, she made sure to wear her crown, no need to adjust it, because she always wore it how she saw fit. That's all I came to say. <laughs> That's all I can say. That's all I came to talk about. Who on here? Because I can't see. Speak house. Because, bitch, I can't see who on here. You know. Yes. What's Charmaine's childhood was the epitome of her becoming the queen that we all knew her to be, her friend said. She was set to start her career as a traveling CNA on June 27, 2022, but God had other plans for her. Charmaine had joined a dating site where she planned on meeting a nice man who they could link up and have a good time. On the same dating site was 22-year-old Makari S. Gassaway. Makari stumbled across Charmaine's pictures and he was excited to have found a beautiful young lady who was interested in him not knowing she was a man. Charmaine who did not clearly state her being transgender to Makari later met that night. She invited him to her apartment for some Netflix and chill type of thing. Unfortunately when the two met later that night, Makari got very upset in bed during pleasing time when he got to realize that Charmaine was indeed a man. He pulled out his gun and shot Charmaine point blank killing Charmaine on the spot for deceiving him into getting in the bedroom with a transgender. Police responded to the Emerald Pines apartments on 39th Avenue in Gulfport and found 27-year-old Charmaine dead from two gunshots, Charmaine's sister was also shot multiple times and taken to the hospital in critical condition. Police are hunting down leads trying to find the person responsible for a deadly overnight shooting. Gulfport police responded to Emerald Pines apartments off 39th Avenue around 1230 this morning. That's where they found a man and a woman suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. Harrison County Coroner Brian Switzer said the man, 27-year-old Bruchon McClam, identified as a woman named Charmaine died at the scene. An autopsy will be performed Wednesday. 
Switzer said the female victim, who is McClam's sister, was taken to Memorial Hospital, Gulfport, where she is listed as critical. Her name has not yet been released. We were able to speak with a victim, with a friend of the victim, who said she was a constant inspiration and encouragement to her. Uh, Brishon was always someone that was herself. She didn't care about anybody. She always dressed the way she wanted to be, always danced the way. She was always just a free spirit person. Somebody that I look up to that no matter what, I need to always be myself. Police are still trying to identify a suspect. Gulfport police detectives say the mayhem started with a fight between Makari and Shawmaine. They say Gassaway pulled out a gun and started shooting. Several other family members were in the apartment at the time of the shooting, including Shawmaine's brother, their mother and two children but none of them were physically injured by the shooter. Detectives reviewed surveillance video from 20 spots around Gulfport and tracked Makari as he fled on a bicycle to the Oxford Point Apartments, where police later found his bicycle with blood stains on it. On a search warrant, authorities seized the bicycle and searched the apartment, where they found Makari's ID, the gun and clothes worn during the shooting. He was subsequently taken into custody. Now residents are fearing for their lives and many say they feel unsafe. Josh Jackson has the story as police continue investigating this latest act of violence. From the 12 year olds to the grown up, got guns, 11. They around here just shooting. I don't know about nobody else, but I'm scared for my kids and my safety. Courtney McLeod scrambling for answers hours after one of her neighbors was killed at Emerald Pines apartment. Police say two victims were shot multiple times Tuesday morning. The male victim, who authorities say identified as a female, died on the scene. His sister was transported to a local hospital. She's listed in critical condition. I talk to him, speak to him every day. I call him sexy, hey sexy. Every time he came out the door, it's sad that he lost his life. And, and the way his sister, you know, was her kids out there watching it, that wasn't, that's a, that wasn't right. Detectives interviewed Makari, who admitted the firearm was his, and went to the apartment to meet Shawmaine, who he met through a dating website. Makari ultimately admitted to the shooting at the apartment and shooting Shawmaine when he found out that Shawmaine was a male. Makari was then charged with the crimes. He would subsequently agree to a plea deal. During the plea hearing, Judge Lisa Dodson stated, Why didn't you just walk out? I can't fathom why you would react so viscerally as to shoot somebody. No one did anything to you. The family will suffer forever, and you will have this long sentence. Judge Lisa Dodson sentenced Makari to a combined sentence of 50 years, 20 suspended, 30 years to serve in prison, with 5 years of reporting post-release supervision. Charmaine was a kind, sweet and beautiful young person who like any person, deserved to live a full life. She didn't deserve to be snatched from this earth like that even though some comments were about her deceiving men and how she took a man to her house on the first date. No matter what, she should not have been killed. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Shawmaine McClam. May her soul continue to rest in peace. Please stay safe out there and we shall see you guys in the next video. Oh girl, why look a little dark? You, did you take me? Y'all take me. And you look light and I'm just in the shadows. Girl, this chocolate. Girl, yeah. This chocolate. Uh, this chocolate got me put good. And that's um photo for What's going on? The niggas is out, honey. The niggas is out. It's fuck me. She out of the out. <laughs> Girl, it's no threesome. What the fuck? This is no. This is not no baby. Threesome. What the fuck? No threesome. I don't what the share fuck? Period.
Girl, I'm not with eating this shit. Bitch, you ain't lame as fuck. Oh, God, you got one view on your page. We have one on my page. Oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. We have four. Bitch, we got one on your page. You got one view on your page. We got one view on your page. Oh, my God. Sweetie, don't, not too much on this page, honey. It's too many. Two fucking views. One Girl, that's a new page, honey. No, Bitch, the only way you gonna get views is if you got a nut upside your head. <laughs> for me. They come for me, baby. They come to see the show. <laughs> Y'all come to see the show. What the fuck? Oh, my life. Hey, Jason. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Angela. Man, I'm gonna go live on my page. Girl, ain't nobody finna watch you. Girl, fuck you. Thank you, friend. Girl, ain't nobody finna watch you. Man, fuck you. Cause they watching me. Lie. And you hating. That's you ha you that's jealous of me. Period. She jealous of me, y'all. But I'm finna go, y'all, cause I'm lame. We gonna What's up, Jason? Girl, how many views you got? Uh oh, y'all look, look, wait, 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 wait y'all, look how many views she got. How you flip this camera? Cause... Bitch, you ain't even let it get on there yet. I just started. Oh, it's, oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, who got one view, sweetie? It's two and a half. <laughs> Big titty. Big butt, too. Fuck with them real niggas and I'm saying niggas what they up to. 